Hi, I'm Calvin, and this week I'm going to be making a five-part tutorial series on one-handed transitions. The first one I'd like to start off with is a trick I saw Kate McCoy do in a pod ploy video, and it looks like this. And that link is below. So let's get started. So a prerequisite trick that you don't have to know but will help with learning this transition is called a TikTok. I learned it from playpoy.com. I included that tutorial in the link below. Now, all this essentially is, is a pendulum versus a static spin, anti-spinning back and forth via the diamond mode pattern. First off, while we're working on this trick, something I want you to keep in mind is to make sure that your arms are close to your body. If they're way out here, it's gonna make the trick look smaller and it's gonna take a lot more upper body strength to maintain. So keeping it close will keep it clean and looking good. For the first step, we're going to work on moving from the tick-tock position into the first one-handed transition, which looks like this. And how we're going to get here is we're going to take the top hand, that pendulum, it's going to move out and drop straight down, and you're going to place the bottom poi handle in the pinky side of your hand. And then the poi that was spinning in the static spin will swing up into the hand that placed the poi in the first place. So, what I want you to practice first is taking this pendulum, dropping it straight down, and placing the bottom poi handle in the pinky side of your top hand like so. And repeat that until you get comfortable with what it feels like to do that. Now that you're comfortable with that, I want you to get your pendulum versus your static spin going, drop it down, and catch the poi. Now we're going to learn how to transition back into our TikTok which looks something like this. So, from this position, with your pinky side of your hand facing up, making sure that you're holding this poi, what you're going to do is throw this poi down, and then take the poi handle that is in the thumb side of your hand, or the top side, and pull it straight up, out, and over. And it's going to look like that. So, one more time, we're going to throw it out, and when they get to about here, so they're both pointing straight out, take this top point handle and pull it straight up. Back into your TikTok. Now that we have your TikTok going in the opposite direction, we're going to work on dropping your top hand, which should now be your right because you're mirroring me, down and placing the bottom point handle to the pinky side of your top hand, like so, just like we did the first time. So, in order to practice that, just do your pendulum, bring it over, drop it straight down, and place that handle into the pinky side of your hand. Once you're comfortable with that, do it with your static spin in motion, and remember that you're going to catch the bottom poi with your left hand. Or my right in this case. Now in order to transition back to your TikTok, we're going to do the reverse like we did the first time. We're gonna throw this back, and when they're about halfway, right here, we're gonna take the poi that's in the thumb side of your hand, pull it straight up, and pendulum it out back on top, so you're back where you started. Again, from here, you're going to push it, pull straight up, and into your TikTok. So, again, we're 
going to the opposite direction from the first time, going to drop it down, catch it, once you get comfortable with that, you're going to throw it back, take that top koi out, and it'll be back where you started. And then you can go back and forth. Now that you're comfortable with this trick in both directions, I'll show you how you can go into one-handed weave and back out. It's the same way that you do the trick from a pendulum versus a static spin in the direction you're comfortable with. In this case, I want my weave to go to my right, so I'm going to be spinning with my pendulum going to my left. I'm going to drop it down, catch the bottom poi, and then throw it to my right to get into a weave. Now to get out of it with the same trick, it's the same way you get out of the trick normally. Pretend it's spinning in a weave in my hand. When it comes down right here, I'm going to grab the top poi and come out into the tick top. And then the other direction. So there you have it, Kate McCoy's one-handed transition. If you have any comments, questions, or requests for future tutorials, feel free to comment below or find me and like me on Facebook at Calvin Brown, Art Performance Instructor. And flow often. Next trick I will be doing a tutorial on will be a trick I saw Mel do, and it's another one-handed transition. It looks like this. And there's a whole lot we can do with that, and I'll post it as soon as I can. Thanks to Cheyenne Smith for helping me film and edit this video. Thanks to Kate McCoy for the idea for the tutorial. And thanks to Nick Woolsey for the TikTok trick.